Alhamdulillah, time is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All praise is due to Him. Allah has brought us into existence in this world with a specified time, specific time frame. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept for everyone something known as a door of death. Everyone shall cross that door. The minute we are born, the clock starts ticking. And it does not stop ticking. When you are sleeping, it ticks. When you are walking, it ticks. So let us not waste time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us that time is of essence. Every moment that you have should be utilized in a way that the day you meet with your maker, you will be proud of how you use that moment. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has definitely mentioned in the Quran in so many places. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being the final messenger, the greatest and the most noble of all. Subhanallah, he has reminded us constantly not to waste our time. And he mentions ni'matani maghboonun fi there are two gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that many people are deceived about. Many people take for granted. Many people do not realize the value of. One is time and one and the other is health. A person's health, subhanallah, is taken for granted until the day it starts diminishing. May Allah grant cure to those who are struggling in any way, those who are sick and ill in any way. But at the same time, the time we have, let's utilize it properly. Let's utilize it positively. And at the same time, we should be reading the Quran. We should be learning why we are here in this world. Sometimes we leave the world without knowing why we were here. That's not good enough. Allah has blessed us with so much. It's not all about the rat race. It's not all about earning. If it was all about wealth and materialistic items, we would be taking those straight through with us into the akhirah, into the afterlife. But when we die, we are buried without our phones, without our cars, without our homes, without our houses, without appliances, without anything that we've had, no clothing, no perfumes. All this is left behind. This shows us that there is a greater picture. In fact, we leave behind our bodies as well. They are in the graves and perhaps decompose in a short time. So the gift of time is such that we should use it in order to know why we have been made. Why did Allah create me? I need answers. For those answers, I need to spend some time. I need to make an effort. And this is when we, I will be able to understand the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon me. My brothers, my sisters, dear viewers, let us understand this gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a day should go by without us having worshipped Allah correctly in, in the way that He wants us to worship Him. Not a single prayer should be missed. We are to be fulfilling five prayers a day, not three, not four, but five. If those five are fulfilled, we need to understand the rest of the time we have should be used in order to get closeness or gain, achieve closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what will help us the day when time is no more, when time is eradicated, literally destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be nothing known as time. When we get into paradise, time will be destroyed. And if time is destroyed, eternity, Eternity comes into play and existence and then it would be wrong for us. It would be inappropriate, incorrect for us to ask what the time is because time no longer exists. For now, we have some time. Use it. Do not abuse it. Do not waste it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help myself and yourselves to utilize every moment, every day, every week, every month that we have in a way that when the years pass, I can see my achievement and I can see that I have progressed so that when I meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I would be the happiest through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May He grant us all paradise. Wa sallallahu wa sallama ala Muhammad.